It's my favorite evening. I'm pacing around the floor. Got southern woods and waters gonna take me out the door. Got coffee on a perkin. I'm about to have some fun. They'll have my mind chasing some critter on the run. Bring it on, southern woods and waters. Make me hear that sound of a fish that's breaking water or the bawling of some hounds. Make me smell that river mud, feel clean air on my face. Bring it on, southern woods and waters. Show me that special place. All about 11 inch proper. Welcome to this week's edition of Southern Woods and Waters. Got another great show lined up for you guys tonight. Going to be a pretty exciting one because later on tonight we're going to be drawing a name for the winner of our dove hunt giveaway. We're going to have uh, one adult and one youth come dove hunt with us uh, on the opening weekend of dove season over the 5th through the 7th. And we've got a lot of qualified names in this bowl up here on the table tonight and here in a little while. Anthony's going to close his eyes and reach in there and yeah. grab one for me. So, uh, got Anthony Landreth in the house with me, man. I love you being able to come down here and be with me tonight. I love being here, Brandon. It's always good having you come down. And, and uh, again, just an exciting show. Got kind of a broad spectrum for you again tonight. We try to do a little bit of something for everybody. Going to go over and do some sauger fishing on Cordell Hall Lake on a, just a quick trip we made a few weeks ago. Had a great time doing that. Uh, and then we're going to go to West Tennessee and uh, learn a little bit about uh, covering our entry and exit routes in and out of a deer stand yeah. and how we go about doing that. Uh, so just several several things coming up for you guys tonight. Pastor Tim has turned into another great uh, shooting straight segment tonight too. So Always. everybody be looking forward to that one. Got that, got that coming up later on. So uh, you know what? We've kind of introed it in. Let's go ahead and jump over and go to Cordell Hole Lake and do a little bit of sauger fishing. We're heading down the highway right now. We're heading up to one of my very favorite places to fish, and that's Cordell Hole Lake. Uh, it's located in, I guess, Smith County, DeKalb County, Jackson County. It's all around in there, and uh, part of the Cumberland River system. What we're going to do tonight, we're going to go up there, and we're going to get after some sauger, some crappie, uh, walleye, whatever wants to bite. We ain't going to call a catfish if he's good enough to, to make a fillet. Uh, just one of those nights we're going out to have a good time and catch some fillet fish, some stuff to go in the in the frying pan. I've got Anthony in town with me. Uh, he and I and Richard are on our way up here tonight. We've been excited about this for a few weeks now. Uh, really been looking forward to, to tonight. I think we've got good, good weather. Going to be 75 degrees right now. Uh, it's going to dip down tonight on up into the upper 60s. So going to be a real comfortable night. We're probably going to be fishing some bridge pillars. I've got some rock piles in mind. We may stop and check out some rock piles. Uh, we're going to be dropping the lights. We're going to get in some deeper water, probably 30, 40 foot of water, drop the submersibles, and we'll probably be looking for the fish to be in the 15 to 20 foot range. But they'll determine that, obviously, when we get down here and we'll find out. Well, I tell you, I'm looking forward to it. I've never been on Cordell Hole. <laughs> Cordell Hole is going to be a good time. You'll enjoy it. It fishes a lot like uh, like an old hickory, like old hickory lake kind of. Um, one of those lakes, there's a lot of low spots. You have to be careful. There's a, they'll go from 50 foot to 5 foot back with. Yeah. And uh, so you really want to stick to the river channels, travel around, just be careful about what you're doing. But again, it's a river system, so uh, the water can change and influx on you. Dayton and I were talking the other day about how the fish on Percy Creek, for example, now that's a reservoir. Right. And those fish, you can pretty much count on what they're going to do day in and day out. Well, you know, with a system like Cordell or Old Hickory or something like that, it can change the water three times changes in a day. so yeah. And yeah, I mean, the temperature changes, the current flow changes, the depth changes, and so it can be a guessing game.
set up now? We got, I guess, six lines in the water right now. What we're running tonight, we're, we're running a few different things, as a matter of fact. I have got a couple set up on what we call crappie rigs or Kentucky rigs. It's a double minnow rig. That's what we're running on that. They've got red beads on them. And a, a one off or two off hook, we're running two different sizes right now. And then I've got one rig set up with a double split shot with a red hook and two fluorescent green beads. And then we've got Anthony's fishing one that he's got a minnow on a jig. Yeah. And so we're kind of trying different things right now as we're getting started. We're going to find out what the fish like, what they're going to be wanting tonight. And then once we figure that out, we'll kind of switch the rest of the rods over and, and kind of give them what they want. These lights cause a lot of noise on your graphs. So it can be kind of tough to read your graphs when you've got these lights running. You so much noise on the graph that it just shows that you're in a couple feet of water. We're actually in about 30 feet of water right now. Um, we're somewhere between 28 and 32 feet. What you got, bud? Suck it low? A little stripe, isn't it? Stripe. That's what we were seeing on that. I just found my headlamp. I got it. I got it. Oh, oh, I had it. Good job. A little deeper. Uh, you know, I can't remember on that. But I, I messed with it with one. I know. Jig or crappie rig? No, that's crappie rig. Folks, this is my first. Nighttime white bass on Cord Cordell Hull. And he sure hit that minnow hard.
Had a pretty fun night there, didn't we? Yeah. You know what's amazing watching this on the TV like that is it looks so bright when you're watching yeah. on TV. But that night we was out there, it was so dark We're you couldn't even dark. see the hand yeah. in front of your that, face. That's why, that's why we turned the little headlights yeah. on. But but that one little infrared light, you, you know, it, it's hard to believe. Well, when you got Richard on the boat with you, he takes care of you pretty good. Yes, he? he does. <laughs> he makes sure that he's got the shot. He man. sure he's does. He's going to get the shot. Yeah. Uh, you know, that's how a lot of our trips turn out. Uh, we uh, we did good. We caught several sauger that night. But hey, man, if the stripes start biting or, or whatever happened, that's what we're after. I'm an equal opportunist. <laughs> you know what I mean? Whatever hits my hook. That's right. You they know, all taste if good. It, if it's Sunday edible, evening. that's right. Yeah. It sure did. Well, guys, we're going to go on over and do this week's wild game forecast. It's being sponsored by our friends at Wilson Bank and Trust. You guys can stop in to see them at one of 28 Middle Tennessee locations. But I'll talk to them about all your banking and financial needs, and be sure to tell them thank you for everything that they do for us right here at Southern Woods and Waters. All right, your forecast uh, weather-wise isn't looking too great. If you guys have been watching the uh, the forecast this evening on Channel 5, uh, we've got some rain. We've got a lot of wind coming for this weekend. But something else that's coming this weekend starting tomorrow, Anthony, is the velvet hunt. That's the velvet in hunt. In the state of Tennessee. And, there's, you know, there's a lot of people that are going to be out hunting tomorrow. And I think your your actual forecast as far as tomorrow goes weather-wise in our area is going to be okay. But in, in, West you <laughs> in West Tennessee tomorrow, it, it's, of course, I I was going to go film. Me and Duck Mataroo. Yeah, old Mataroo. <laughs> old Mataroo, yeah. <laughs> Say out of him tonight. <laughs> and, uh, but uh, it, it's going to be so – got to go to a funeral tomorrow too, but uh, – it's going to be pretty bad. Like winds about 30 miles per hour, rain most of the day. Yeah. But now our Saturday is looking good. Yeah. Whereas our Saturday looks windy and, That's right. and rain. So yep. uh, kind, of, kind of a, a mixed deal there depending on where you're at in the state tomorrow. And, of course, with these fronts like this, nobody really knows exactly how it's going to turn out. That's right. Um, I think the deer, i tell you one thing they're doing. They're moving this evening pretty hard ahead of it. Um, cameras have been lighting up this yep. evening for us. And uh, we just want to say good luck to everybody that is going to get out and go after them this weekend. Be safe uh, above anything else yeah. and, and send us some pictures. Um, especially if you're know, in the CWD zone, you know, that, totally that, that being safe, uh, we have to wear orange down there regardless of what we're hunting right. with, bow, muzzleloader, or archery. I mean, gun, muzzleloader, archery, because we can use anything down yeah. there. And it's, uh, it's 11 counties in West Tennessee. And a lot of people may not know it, but... Um, you know, you always see, uh, you on Facebook like I am, man, I wish it was public ground. Well, there's 19 WMAs there's open, quite a bit of it open in, in, in West Tennessee. So, and I mean, and some of those, I'm telling you, have got some monster bucks on them. They have. Um, fish are still looking pretty good. Yes. Um, we, we've still been doing pretty good fishing. Most of the fish have been still a little bit deeper. Uh, but some of them are coming on up. Uh, we caught some stripe the other night that were probably in eight foot of water, you know, eight to ten foot. Uh, they were suspended over about 35 foot of water, but they, you know, eight to ten feet where, where yeah. they were at. Crappie are coming up a little further. They're 12 to 14 feet right now on uh, Priest. Old Hickory's doing real good on stripe right now. I've uh, got some great stripe reports out of Old Hickory in the last week or two. Um, and Richard went out and filmed a, uh, another show with Dude and Roy. Did he? Uh, the famous. <laughs> Dude and Roy, so we did, can't did, wait did to he be catch any? Few weeks. Uh, did they yeah, let I think it? they let him catch a couple. They had a good day, man. I, I mean, they, they had did. a good day. So yep. things are looking good on the yep. fishing front as hey, well. Pickwick Just watch brand those is red hot right now. It is. I've got a, some friends down there. They went the other day. They, I mean, they caught a bunch, but I know they had three that was pushing ten pounds, and that's that's good. That's a good day. I'm going to tell you, guys. We want to remind you to follow us on Facebook. Keep up with us there again tonight. We're going to be giving away a dove hunt that was originated on Facebook. So come over and follow us. Find us at SWWTV.com as well. You can find all of our past episodes and link to all of our sponsors. We'll be right back here in just a minute with this week's pictures of the week and some more Southern Woods and Waters. <laughs> 